Welcome to The Artist Loft, the talk show for all artists. Join us each show as we spotlight a variety of different creatives, hosted by the Florida Arts Network with Richard Sosa and Frank A. Raffolo. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Artist Loft. Hey, how are you? All right. So, um... We have a, uh, a really special guest here today, a uh, guy I've known for quite some time. Uh, and we're going we're gonna, to, well, let's talk a little bit about fan first. Yeah, right? why don't we do that? Uh, because we've got some, some stuff coming up with Florida Arts Network. Uh, we're, we're looking into doing a, a fundraiser uh, sometime in, in March. And we'll, we'll as, as things develop, we'll, we'll give you more and more information on, on that. Uh, but you don't have to wait until March. You can always go on our website, uh, which is right there at the bottom of your screen, Florida, uh, FloridaArtsNetwork.org, uh, and you can uh, donate on our on our uh, on our page there. Uh, and there are other ways that you can help as well. We need all the help we can get, right? Um, so please visit our our site and reach out to us. Yeah, if you want to become part of the Third Eye Club, get a pair of these glasses. <laughs> you could. Uh, Contact me on my email, frankarofolo.com, and call the studio here, 888-994-4995. Uh, buy one of my books, and you'll get one of these glasses while supply lasts. There you, there you go. And you'll be making a fashion statement at the and same you'll time. You'll be making a fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we have, a, we have a, a quick video uh, that, we, that we're going to play uh, first. So why don't we go ahead and, and roll that real quick. And we're going to roll that. Here we come. <laughs> we're going to roll it now. <laughs> OK, so while that's, while that's happening, yeah. What's up, everybody? This is Ajo Armate, but most of you know me as Esteban Hulu Ricardo Montoya de Rosa Ramirez from The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. I just wanted to give a shout out to my man, Richard Sosa. He is one of the best acting coaches that I've had the pleasure to work with, and he's actually worked with me and my program for many years, and I highly recommend this guy. So if you have an opportunity to work with him, what are you waiting for? Now, get out of my face. Esteban Hulu Ricardo Montoya de Rosa Ramirez. I'm out. Frank A. Rufolo, a renowned author and screenwriter. Best known for books such as 10048, Blue Falcon, Memoir of a Soldier, and his latest Samuel Ocero. Check out his website at frankarufolo.com or buy his books on Amazon.
Yeah. All right, there, there we go. So we got the, we got the, the video of Stephen Avi. Uh, I've known him for uh, quite some time now. And uh, an amazing violinist. Um, I, I remember one time we, a bunch of us had gone out to eat somewhere and we go out to the parking lot and he's like, you know what, I want to grab my violin and just play in the restaurant. And he started walking around playing, playing that violin and we were like, oh my God, this is so amazing. <laughs> so anyway, without any further ado, uh, let's go on over to uh, Stephen Avi. And uh, let's see, let's see. You work in some kind of a deal? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Papa John. You have to hold the pizza later. I got to interview. <laughs> so this is something more important we got going on here. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Artists love, how are we? <laughs> Papa John's, huh? On the phone with Papa John. All right. It, okay. it was either our Domino's, but uh, I wasn't feeling too crusty, so I thought Papa John's was better. <laughs> oh, wow. So, how oh. are we, Richard? How, how are we? How are we? Doing Mr. well. Domino, how are we doing? Doing well. Doing well. How are you doing? I, I, I Listen, this is the greatest blessing I've had all day. The only thing better is the food I'm going to have after this. Yeah. <laughs> this, man. Yeah. Listen, listen, I'm an artist, man. I think food itself is, is its own art. We've got to appreciate that. I mean, look, yeah. I, I'm surprised at all the art I'm seeing over here. Oh, I know. No, the art in the, in the studio, the studio is, is, amazing. is amazing. It really is. I, I, have a, I have a couple of favorites myself that are, are New York themed. You know, because I mean, I'm oh, originally from New York City, so, you know, I, I, love, I love those. Oh, but, um, so, Stephen, you've, uh, you've been pretty busy lately. No, 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 I haven't at all, especially in the studio. No, of course I haven't. I got a lot of stuff releasing that I'm gonna. I'm gonna no, but didn't you didn't you re recently release? Oh, that's how busy I am. Yeah, that's yeah. how busy I am. I, I'm releasing more stuff. I, I'm getting more stuff ready. I'm getting better promotion. I'm getting I'm getting everything more ready. We're going bigger and bigger. That's what that's what we're doing. Not only that, I have other films I'm I'm filming right now as well as in the moment. But really, w what's important is that it is to be better. And yeah. you know, for all the artists that are, that are watching this, I, I want to give this message of actually being better. Understand, you know, what's actually. People are like they want to be perfectionists and all that stuff. Work on work on um, on being better, that that next step, you know. Yeah. And what 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 is that actually? What does that actually mean? Just just get better. It means understand what you're doing. So for instance, we, we talk a lot about acting because yeah. I think you're an acting coach. I think, yeah, yeah. You know, I wouldn't recommend you at all. Wow. Definitely. Wow. <laughs> Not okay. talking your classes, <laughs> <laughs> but but I can say what I think is very important is when you're reading. Don't act it. Don't act it first. No, no, no. I actually understand what's really happening. Yeah. What's really happening in the scene. That, that is honestly the most important thing. It's, it's all about understanding your craft. Of course. Right? Um, and, and getting better at it and getting better at putting the work in. So, okay, so for example, okay, you had Adrian Armante, you know, giving me the, giving me the thumbs up. But um, have you seen the show Griselda? Griselda. Yeah, on, on Netflix? Okay. So on that show, there's a, a, a woman that plays a cop that's going after Griselda. She's an old acting student of mine. And I remember when she was, when she was 18, she was like, I want to go into acting full time. Can you help me? So I said, yeah, sure. She wants to get into the T. Schreiber Conservatory for Theater Arts in, in New York. So we worked on a couple of monologues. She sent them in. They thought that, that they were edited. So they wanted her to fly up there. We worked on a third monologue, and she wound up, she wound up getting in there. I advised her on, on, a, on, a, on a summer program in, in London, and she started doing that. She went to uh, uh, the School of Drama at Yale, and next thing you know, I'm seeing her on, on the blacklist, and now she's got that show on, on Netflix, and I'm like, oh my gosh. But she put in the work. And, and, and I think that's what a lot of people don't, don't see. I know that you put in that work when you, when you, get on, when you grab that violin. Oh, no, I, I, I do it more than just the violin. I do it in my acting as well, of course. Yeah. You, know, you know what it is? It, it's actually it's having, it's, it's, it's having actually a good technique for yourself. Because I will say this, like, and I actually want to address this, that not what works for me is going to work for you. Right. I actually really, really say that. Actually, I'll tell you something really, really funny. You know, I, I had, I've done programs, uh, acting programs in, in Los Angeles, and I saw one actor that, he, this was his method. It wasn't like, uh, Sean Slavsky, none of that stuff. You know, yeah. you, know what the, the, you know what their method was? It was just, okay, this scene, I'm gonna act like Mark Ruffalo 
if uh, in, in Avengers, like their impression, mm -hmm. and that would just work. I also yeah. saw one other person that they're actually a horrible actor. Uh, uh, get this, a horrible actor. Okay, don't mention names. No, 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 I don't, yeah. I don't remember this person's name. That's, the, that's oh, how bad okay. they are. <laughs> <laughs> but they're a great imitator. So for yeah. instance, like you said, you're, act, you're the acting coach. So let's say the line is, I want to tell you that I love you, but not really. That exact movement, that exact head turn, that exact every precise thing they would ex do exactly. And it would just work. It would come out natural. Yeah. And that's not something that I think you, we should teach to, uh, to be just imitators. You know, it's, 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 it's funny that you say that. I was teaching a, an acting workshop in Puerto Rico one, one year. And um, I, it was like I was, I was teaching a, a, teen, a teen group. Yes. And there were like maybe 40 students there. And, and I told them, listen, I'm going to give you a line. Mm -hmm. And I want you to interpret it any way that you want. And so the line was, I hate you. And so all he says, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. One kid said, I hate you. <laughs> and, and I thought, see, that's thinking outside the box. That's, that's making a different character choice. Yes. Right? And so that's, that's the kind of thing that, that stands out. That kid was uh, a girl by the name of Jernes Corchado, who wound up becoming a, a student of mine and has been on the blacklist on Netflix. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, <laughs> yes. I know I'm promoting myself today. You this see why I don't recommend him? <laughs> but, Call um, now. But yeah, you know, it, it's, you have to find what works for you. And, and it's not necessarily one specific method, of right? Because, I mean, you know, you've got Stella Adler, you've got Stanislavski, you've got Eric Morris, you've got Meisner, all these, all these, different, uh, all these different methods, but it may not work for you. Exactly. You know, I, I try, I, I use a different approach, but we, I, I, we wanna, I wanna focus more <laughs> on, on you today. Uh, I know that you secretly admire my, my uh, teaching abilities, but you I know. have a picture of my wife. Quite <laughs> <a bit. laughs> so, how long have you been playing the violin? Since you know, violin, uh, seven years old. But I want to say music my whole life, really my whole life. Yeah, because, because you want to know something. Uh, when I was little, uh, you know, I wouldn't listen to like Michael Jackson. I mean, I did, but really, all this music that you know I listen to now. Really, I just love to listen to a lot of classical music. I, that's what I was exposed to. I just love the sound of a violin. E even if it was just in cartoons, uh, like Looney Tunes, et cetera, I just love that sound of, of just th that violin. It was just the most beautiful and thing. And you play other instruments. I, I do, yeah, but, but my, my, my thing is, is violin, and I don't ever want to give any other focus to another instrument. You know why? Because there's too many people that play guitar. There's too many people that, that use this, even though it's good, people, people need to use it. There's people that play vi piano. You heard me playing a second ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were playing before. And you know something? I, I don't think it gets as much credit. The only thing I could say probably doesn't get as much credit as the violin is, is the, the the viola, actually. But uh, I just told I just told I just told my mom, hey, I, I could do something special with it. I could yeah. actually do something different with that instrument. Yeah. And then and, 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 and you do. Yeah. And then it, January, uh, when I was seven years old, I, I, I got my first violin. I just practiced from that day. Yeah. But you know what the thing is, too, about you? Is that you don't just play the violin. You're a performer. I, I, I remember when, when, you, uh, when you played the violin for uh, one of our uh, Florida Arts Network events. Yes. Yeah. And it was it was crazy because I mean you you were coming down from the from the stairs and, and everybody was chanting your name oh yeah you know? it was it was amazing and then you just came in and you just wowed everybody yeah you don't Thank just you play so a violin much. you perform with a violin yeah yeah no, you really do but here's the thing though and I'll tell you something very very important when I'm in, I'm, I'm in the mornings and I'm play, I'm practicing my violin you know. I'm not here to, pl to play scales. That's what I was told. I mean, obviously, I'll do it really, really boring at first. Right. I'll take out all your emotions. But you know something? I, I was taught by an amazing professor that you know something? I know it's a scale, but you got to play, you gotta play like, like, like it's a piece. That's what you got to do. 
So that's what you gotta do. It, it, it's it, it, it's acting in itself. It's yeah. actually performing. That's actually that's that's why it's it's art. That's why because you feel it. Oh yeah, yeah. And and see that's the that's the thing about artists. So we we connect with with our craft. It, it becomes it becomes a part of us. Yes. I, I've I've had people ask me, oh, Rich, are you always on? I'm like, yes, I'm always on because that's that's my passion is is acting, right? Yeah. With you, it's it's the violin. It's like you become one with the instrument. Yeah. I, I wish I, w I wish I would have spent a little bit more time on, you know, on on music when when I was growing. I mean, I learned how to play all the brass instruments, and band, and play guitar and all Yo, this you stuff. Asked me but I, you, I, what you do? I mean, you, I mean, you take it to another level. I, I, that's how it has to be. If not, why why are they doing this? It's like covering music can't do that. I mean, yeah. I, I'm here. I'm to make my own music with the violin. That, that's what I'm here to do. But if you ask me personally, as a violinist, here's a fun fact. I think the brass instruments is if you play that, I respect the hell out of you. Because you, you think it's just <laughs> <laughs> No, it's no, not. No, it's not that. No, no. It's, it's a way of not. breathing over here. It's a way of having the lips as well as maintaining this the whole, whole time. And I, I remember I tried it, and it, the professionals were teaching me how to do it one time, and I thought I was, I, I was like, wow, it's so different. Wow, I, I respect you guys. And you guys, people that do that, you have a, you you breathe as well, if not better than singers. Yeah, yeah, and you have to develop that embouchure and, yeah. and everything else. Yeah, yeah. I get it. uh, it's it's crazy. And then I tried violin one time. <laughs> Did you like my rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> You know, so, it, it takes practice. It really so where, does. where can people find you, get, download your music, or see you perform? You can see it anywhere, anywhere you want. Especially you listening, looking at me. I know you're looking at me, viewer. <laughs> uh, Steven Avi El Gato. You can see that on Spotify, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, iTunes, and all platforms. You can see yep. all of my music from rap music with a violin as well as classical music on the violin as well as covers that you might like such as Bach or if you want you can go from winter even to summer yeah and I'm still waiting for him to do Bohemian Rhapsody on the violin I've been asking I've been asking for that now <laughs> coming really soon yeah coming real soon one, one, one of these days he's gonna humor me and say okay you know let's I'll do Bohemian Rhapsody it'll be a real rap city for you yeah I, I know it oh my gosh you know, but yeah, if you if you want him for a, a concert, he can do a concert. I, you've done weddings. I've done weddings, you've bar done all kinds of stuff, I've done yeah. I've done engagement parties or engagement. We call it when, when they're getting engaged. You know. The yeah, like, the proposal. The proposal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the proposal. Proposal. You know, because they do it at the beach. The yeah, yeah. Around, yeah, yeah. That before. I have even actually I'll tell you I'll tell you the strangest thing ever. I've done a dog party. <laughs> I'm serious, yo. There is this woman from a, a, from a, 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 works at a, a, at a vet, okay. She works as a vet in, in this dog store, and she had me do a dog party. And it was everyone brought their pets. They came with their dogs, and they had cakes only for the dogs. You couldn't, you couldn't, no. Yeah. It would make you sick, but it was good for the dogs. They had cakes, but like shape of the dog. Yeah. One of the little the little bones. Yeah. The craziest thing ever. Yeah, well, party. you know what? I think that you would have been perfect for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you know, I, I do dad jokes. So, you know, <laughs> even, even Frank's like, oh, God, oh, no, please. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But you, but, know, but you don't play just here in the States. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, listen, I, I just, I, I had a Europe tour. I was doing France. I did Italy. And... I did Iceland. For, I was first time being in Iceland ever. That was just incredible. I, get this. In the middle of the night, someone just calls me, hey, listen, we're doing a Dinéon en Blanc. Which, by the way, in South Florida, it's a big thing. So a anyone listening, uh, living in, s you know what, anywhere, South Florida, Europe, even, even some African, African uh, countries, there's a place called, uh, this thing called Dinéon en Blanc, which is uh, the dinner in white, started from France, now it's everywhere. And I did one here in Fort Lauderdale. And then the guy who did it, He's now, he was doing it at, at Iceland for the first time. And he says, hey, listen, I'm in Reykjavik right now. And if, listen, I don't want to promise you anything, Steven, but if I can get you here, uh, would you want to do it? Okay. So my passport, 
Do you ask goodbye? Hey, uh, Stephen, you want to uh, check your email? Okay. And it's a confirmation. And he goes, Stephen Abbey, you're going to Iceland <laughs> tomorrow! <laughs> I, I think you just blew out their ears in the back. <laughs> Did you like that music? Sorry, it wasn't the violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, you've, you've played all over the place and for all kinds of, of different, different events and all kinds of different venues. I, I love doing it. I, I, I love, I, I love just, not, just not doing it for the, for the same people, even though I'll, I'll do it for, for you, Richard, any day. Oh you man, I appreciate, I appreciate that. And you know what? I, I, I know you always, you always have my back. Whenever, whenever I need Same you here. for something, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love you, man. No, I, I love you too, I, man. Thank, I do. thank you so much. And you've got yeah. such, a, such a great family. They're so supportive. Oh, yes. They're, they're it, the most supportive. Absolutely. Yeah, they really are. Yes. They and really I, are. And I, and I think, listen, everyone should have that. And if you're telling me, someone listening, well, you know, maybe I don't have that relationship with my family. Listen. Family is in, is in your blood, man. It, it's 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 your family. Yeah, yeah. That, that's so something it's you those, gotta learn. It's those people that, that that support you. Those people that 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 raise you up. And unfortunately, sometimes blood doesn't doesn't do that. Yeah. And also, I would say this too. And this is something you gotta learn if you're in this business. Is that sometimes your biggest fans, actually, all the time, I'd say your biggest fans are the ones that show it through actions, not through words. Not, oh, yeah, you're amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's good, you know, how they like on yeah. Instagram, you get like a comment, yeah, you did good. But the people that, you know, they show up, they, they, they actually pay for the ticket or hire you, or they can't, they're like, you know, I've tried, they've done all their best and they really can't, you know, the, the fact yeah. that they show their effort, that, that means yeah. so much. You know, it's, it's, it's funny because when, when I was growing up in New York, um, I knew at five, at five years old, that I wanted to be an actor. But I didn't, get, I didn't get any support from, from my parents. And then uh, after I had been married and had kids of my own, I was going to visit my mom and I was telling her about a play that I'm doing and everything. And she was like, oh, yeah, Richard, but uh, you, you really always like the, the acting. And I'm like, yeah, my, she actually apologized to me for not, for not supporting me more. Uh. And, and I was like, ma, I, I, I get it, you know, as, as a parent, you do the best you can with what you know at the moment, with, with, with the information that you have, right? Fortunately, you've always had that support system, and that's huge. I tell all my, I tell all my acting students, the, the youngest, and when I talk to the parents, mm -hmm. I tell them, support your kid. Be there for them. You know, spot the red flags, too, because there are a lot of red flags in this business. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Here's man. the thing also. They come in, in they, the ones that will try to do it, they even come in, in ways that you don't know. Oh, I know. So, so, so I, I think sometimes crazy. they want to, they think it comes in a very obvious way, which, yeah, they can't yeah. do, but sometimes that's not, that's not the case. Yeah, sometimes it's very is, overt. The thing is, listen, and, and I want to talk sometimes, uh, not just to you, Richard, but to people in the camera. That's why I'm looking at them. <laughs> I'm telling them, listen, <laughs> once you get, listen, <laughs> the business, acting, modeling, whatever you're doing, this is the circle, right? When you start, you're, there's this circle, right? And you're gonna get in the circle. And then when you get bigger, when you get uh, more success, more roles, this is the circle you're gonna be in now. It's a small, small group. Yep. Then after you get into this one. And once you're here, you're gonna see how red it gets. Yeah. You're gonna see it. But also you'll see, you'll see the good side of it. That's yeah. what I always say, that's what I say. Yeah. But be careful, protect yourself and also Love yourself. This is a business. You, you, should, you should respect your business because if you don't and you ignore those red flags, that, that's only damage to yourself because you're a product. Yeah, and, and you brought up a really good point. It is a business. It really is. And a, and a, lot, of, a lot of artists, uh, they, they, don't, they don't work on the business end of it. They're, they're super creative, always coming up with all kinds of great stuff but then they don't treat it like a business. And you have to treat yeah. yourself like the CEO, the president, the marketer, mm -hmm. the, the, the CFO, you know, you, you are that person all balled up into one. It, it's honestly, and let me add to that, it's being the full package. Yeah. And I don't think many people know what that means. Yeah. And you know what that, that full package is? Full package of just not only the business side, but also the, the image side. 
Like yeah. actually, you know, there's a lot of things with like Instagram, social media. That's important. That is important. But I would also say, in terms of like looking good, because you yeah. never know who you're gonna meet. I didn't know who are those people that just came over here a second ago, inviting me yeah, to yeah. their art show. I'm yeah, horrible yeah. names. I didn't know I was gonna meet them. I'm glad I looked like this. Yeah, but it's not just looking good as far as like, oh, my, my hair is done, the makeup yeah, is yeah. done. You know, what is your, your overall image? Of right? course. You, you need to look good. Don't do stupid stuff and then put it on social media. Yeah. You gotta be so careful because once it's on the internet, it's there forever. Yeah, I mean, listen, listen I, I don't know if you know, but like with Snapchat, I had this one person, I'm actually stealing his story. He actually told me this. Isn't that my story? Where this little girl, she said, oh, no, it's fine. Yeah. It's Snapchat. It goes away from, like, after the 24 hours. Yep. Well, yeah. Yeah, you remember me telling you that. Yeah. I'm it stealing was, it from you. And yeah. unfortunately, I'm publicly stealing a story away. from him. So this is what happens. What actually they do, it goes from a file. So it goes, like... Uh, the extension and the file changes to something that Snapchat doesn't recognize as, as a picture. Yeah. But if you, if you pull out the file and, and change the extension back, you, now you've got the picture all over again. So uh, you, you, gotta, you just have to be so, so careful. So unfortunately, yeah. people, our time is up. Holy smoke. Huh? Yeah, Me our too. time is up. Time yeah, is pretty up. pretty much. We're we're down to just <clears throat> the last couple of minutes. Oh well, well that, that sucks. See, didn't we tell you that the, the time is time just going to fly? When you have fun. <laughs> the time just flies on this show. It it really does. My pizza hasn't come yet. So <laughs> has, has, hasn't been fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephen, thanks so much for for being on the on our show, man. I, I appreciate you coming on out. Now for you guys, really thank good. you so thank much. You. I would love to come back. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you all the yes, audience yes, here. Thank you. You guys are amazing. To support the Full Arts Network with a, not with a donation, it's tax deductible. And if you want your business included on us and want to be part of our sponsors, contact us on our website for information on how you can be a sponsor on our show. Okay, yes. And sistersofvengeance.com, that, that uh, website that just showed up, it's a film project that, that I'm involved in that deals with human trafficking. Uh, so uh, hit that website, uh, uh, reach out to them, you know, if there's anything that, that you can do to, to help them uh, spread the word, we'd really appreciate and it. And us, that, That's Florida our website Arts right there, floridaartsnetwork.org. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we have a list of all these different ways that, that you can help us. Uh, but Regardless, you know, bottom line, you know, it, it takes money to do what we want to do. So uh, we are a 501c3. So any, uh, any gifts that, that you send our way would be tax deductible. Yeah. We would really appreciate it. And get a pair of these glasses. Yes, get a pair. Order, order the book, get a pair of the glasses as long as, uh, long as supplies last. All right. So everybody, thank you very much for tuning in again. And we will see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching The Artist Log. Make sure to tune in next time for another great show. A show that was produced by Ant Media Productions and hosted by the Florida Arts Network with your hosts Richard Sosa and Frank A. Ricolo.